Anybody that would like to order anything like after the meeting, if you're hanging around, they only have one rate waitress working right now because it usually isn't as full in the morning. So if you would, like if you want to get drinks or something, swing around and go ahead and get them yourself from the bartender. Go right to the bartender. Okay. And is there any other things about in here? Oh, great. You can copy a spree and you can help yourself. The coffee machine is right over here. <laughs> this is our headquarters. And uh, uh, the only thing we ask is obviously they're, they're open the whole time. This inside is open to the public, too. So after this one large meeting. If, uh, oh, this is Ken Peterson. Ken, would you raise your hand? He's a. Uh, Orion film crew. The other film crew that's here is, is from Boston. They're uh, Jackson Madnick and Tom Blue. Would you guys raise your hand and stand up? Jackson Blue. Tom, Tom here? Oh, there he is. Okay, Tom. Couldn't tell you were a video crew or anything. Uh, there's some people that aren't at this meeting, obviously, that aren't going to know who the camera guys are. If you guys would help us kind of, uh, you know, we'll try and we're going to have to work out some kind of identification for the camera guys, just for the people that don't know them. Blue hats. Blue. Some kind of beanie. It says TV man on it. Okay. There are a camera. That's good. There's two sanctioned camera crews. We've talked to them. They're going to be as just uh, as uh, work with you as carefully and close as they can. If. Um, if there's any problem with any other camera crews, please ask them if somebody comes in and they walk out into the, like the camera crews that we have now are not gonna shoot anyone's show by like busting in the middle of your show without introducing themselves and coming up and focusing on your face. If anyone does it, please remind them that our highest priority at this festival is spontaneity and live shows and the camera uh, crews are asked to uh, respect that and, and be, uh, what's the word, low profile if they can. If anyone's shooting you and there's any problems with them, please report it to the office. Ask the camera crews to come to the office and we'll give them a, a rundown and stuff like that. If there's anybody else out there on home equipment. Uh, we're running concurrently with the, uh, what do you call it, uh, literary festival. And now all the literary festival has been going on for years. All the major media that we contacted said, Oh, that's great. We're already going to be in town covering a literary festival. We'll cover you guys, too. So most of the major media is going to be here. Mo uh, a lot. There's going to be a uh, there's an Italian film crew coming from Rome. Most of the majors from here, public TV, they're all going to be out there in the streets with big cameras. Um, you guys, uh, everybody here deals with uh, film crews. If there's any problem, you guys report it to us. Ask, send them to us. We'll, we'll get it worked out. Can I say yeah. media? Also, oh, also, we have a live remote from the Carnegie from four to eight on Wales. We should be able to bring it to the last hour. And you might want to come to the camera and make sure you can find it on the schedule. His name that's on the program, if you got a show somewhere, they're going to mention it one hour before the show. They're going to announce you on the radio. And uh, they're also going to be doing a live remote here Friday night. That's going to be Whale 99 doing the live remote Friday night from 4 to 8 or 9. OK, when the street fair is out here, they'll be doing a live remote from about uh, uh, the early part of the street fair, maybe from 6 to 9 or something like that, uh, Whale Radio. And we'll be going to make that. New areas, right. New areas uh, up the top here, of course, the Sunset, Mallory Square, is an open area. It's open for busking. But as everyone that's been here before or has heard about it already knows that season is a small place. It's 400 feet long, and there's probably uh, 4,000 people there, you know, at sunset time. And it's jammed. It's already it's jammed before the festival started with locals. So if you want to work out there, uh, Bert Lee, once again, in his many hats, is the on-site manager. Is he working tonight? No, you, get, not. you got an alternate? alternate? Yeah. Somebody else is working? Who? Anyone? You. Bobby. Bobby. Yes. Hello. Bobby. Hello. Perhaps you should tell them about uh, set up time. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, there's uh, the first time in history in Alice Square there's a set of, a set of guidelines. <laughs> and just because there's so little space and so many people, we requested that no one set up before. Before, uh, well, set up time for the artists there is two hours before the sunset. The performers are trying to push it back a little bit because if I come two hours ahead of time, there's no crowd just to mark off the square. So, what time do the performers go? 4:30. 4:30. Show up about 4:30 if you want to work, and the space 
just kind of give you up. And also, if you're there at set up time and you want the same spot as someone else, you flip a coin. If you're later, you have to fit in wherever. Okay, so that's pretty, that's just like uh, kind of cooperation amongst each other uh, and getting spots there. And sometimes it's so crowded that uh, occasionally, like the bigger shows, you know, we'll just two guys will take the same spot and alternate. One guy work, take a break, let the other show go, then he can go. He can usually get in two shows that way. Um, anybody that has not uh, signed a contract yet, I would ask if you would please do it right after this meeting. If they got you here, they will fill out all your stuff. We'll get all your information. We you got you in the books. And we got you in the books. Did Did you leave a copy uh, of, of your contract yesterday? Did, um, yeah. Uh, I bought you that. Like I gave you a copy of it, but I forgot to make a copy for me. So, um, you want to, after the meeting or something like that, I'll hurry up and fill out another one or something like that. I forgot to keep one for the file. Either that or I didn't give you one. Did you get one? Okay, as long as you got a copy, then I'll make out one for the file. I just forgot to do that. I've been doing them with, uh, you know, uh, uh, carbon paper for everyone. Uh, anyone else? Anything else? Oh, oh. Uh, we're going to pass out these things now, these bags that have just assorted odds and ends that people have donated uh, and some information and some letters and things like that. If anybody's here and feels like they could use a bicycle, while we're here, we have a bike shop who's sponsoring us that has given us a few bike rentals. If you don't already have one and you'd like one, uh, come on and talk to me after this meeting about that too, and we'll hook you up with that. And other than that, the, the best... Oh, we, we can definitely, if anybody's just... Hanging around, nothing to do, particularly if you have a vehicle, we can use a lot of help getting some of the programs still out to different various locations, just uh, manpower stuff. If you got only an hour or a half an hour, one run and help us immensely. Um, well, I want to say something. Everybody? Hello? Everybody, I think we ought to give Will Soto a big hand. He's, uh, he's done a great job. Like running a stop sign or a red light, it's like 45 bucks. So keep it's your eyes peeled. No 